My name is Dana Lawton and I am chair of the Performing Arts Department, which is a multidisciplinary department that has four distinct programs, dance, music, theater, and technical theater. One of the challenges that we had this year is that we are a time-space art form and pedagogically having students in the dance studios, in the classrooms, in rehearsals, in real time became untenable because of restrictions. And so we had to figure out, as artists often do, thinking on our feet, we had to figure out how to deliver musical concerts and dance productions and plays and rehearsals and other performance labs in a virtual setting. And we learned a lot, um, but I believe that what we came up with was, was beautiful and was thoughtful and was really instrumental to our students learning something that we didn't even know that we had the capability to do. We learned the art of live streaming. So with Dance Nation by Daniel Larlam, we were able to have students on stage, socially distanced, masked, and able to give a live performance in the Fever Theater and then also be able to figure out how to live stream that. There was a lot of troubleshooting. Big thank you to Beckett Finn and um, Matthew Cohen for figuring out best practices for doing that. We did a similar thing for the dance concert as well, which was an opportunity for our students off campus to perform dance films and have those be shown while live dancers were dancing on stage as well. So kudos to Kathy Davalos and Shauna Vela for making that happen. So as far as the um, choir, Julie Ford is a superhero, along with Sharon Lee Kim and Renee Witten and Lino Rivera and uh, Sixto Montesino, creating out in the pavilions and recording rehearsals while the students were out there in their parkas and their masks and their instruments, and then creating a montage to have a beautiful uh, finished product of which you can listen to and watch on YouTube. So it's been really instrumental. I think that our ability to think beyond just our bodies as somatic artists and really rely on technology in ways that we haven't before has proven to be a strength. I think that we learned a lot um, and luckily our students are incredibly adaptable and incredibly talented and smart and they helped us also because as older teachers sometimes we don't know how certain things work and they can say you just do that over there. What is interesting is similar to many other formats is really recognizing now that we have a, a wider audience base than those who come to campus. So we're presently talking about not just videoing but maybe continuing to have live performances and streaming so that those family members or those grandparents that maybe live far away or are unable to come to campus and watch their their students perform. That's one exciting uh, thing that has blossomed out of this. Mm -hmm.